I'm here at Fanuc UK in Coventry at the headquarters on Anstey Park and with Oliver Selby. Um, we're going to be talking about education and I cannot stress enough um, the work we do with Fanuc um, on education but how important it is to MTV C&C as well. Mm. Oliver, um, big year for that isn't it for you at Fanuc? Absolutely Paul, yeah. So um, you, you, you will have heard in the press obviously around the, the need for academia, industry to collaborate together to fulfil um, and, and fill the skills gap that is kind of currently um, yeah, burdening itself upon UK industry, you know. So um, very, very difficult to find the right people at the moment. And I think um, it's important that industry and academia do collaborate. And we are taking steps to actually make sure that we, as an as a, um, automation provider, an equipment provider, are doing the right things to make sure that gap is filled with the right skill set. And how are you going about doing that this year then in 2023? So we, uh, we are continuing to roll out our education products that are dedicated towards um, uh, academia, to uh, learning the right skills that industry are currently using. Um, so along with product, equipment that we are, we are delivering, we also deliver um, the, the content for those trainers to actually deliver to their students, whether that's at A-levels, um, at um, university type degree courses or in, um, in uh, end users themselves. You know, so we actually do see quite a few end users embarking on automation um, themselves and actually developing um, their teams accordingly. And they are actually also supported um, by us with our training um, and academy here in Coventry. And it's not just about that, Ollie, as well. You've also taken on new personnel. Yes, yeah, we're really excited to actually bring on um, Sati Cole, who will be responsible for our education strategy going forward. So I'm Sati Cole, I'm the new business development manager for the educational sales for Fanuc UK, based in Coventry. Um, my remit will be supporting the academic sector with producing the robot sales that we currently have here at our site in Coventry today, as well as also other products or ranges from other family members as well. And what's your history and your background? Where, where have you come from and, and what do you bring to this role? Um, I have a very varied background, if I'm totally honest, Paul. So my true background is in logistics and supply chain. However, I managed to land a very good opportunity with MTC, um, which is also based in Coventry across the road from Fanuc. Um, spending a fair amount of time understanding what's happening in different sectors, the challenges, the skills gaps that's currently happening and it's widening due to the pandemic and Brexit and also sort of supporting the industry with R&D projects as well as industrial projects as well to help the UK manufacturing sector to be the best uh, within the UK as well as globally. What really excites me is that I can lean upon my previous experience again going back from the MTC and the catapult centres and apply that to this role that Fanuc have uh, produced and sort of help build the relationships in the schools and in the academic world and bring these students up to speed with regards to again programming, CNC machining and really help the next generation um, to thrive and reduce that skills gap that we're currently facing right now. What would be deemed a success for you? What, what would you look back on in a few months time and think you know this is exactly what I wanted to see in the role that I'm doing? Um, it's a very good question. Um, I would say to see more and more students come through our doors um, to learn how to program a robot and also to see universities and colleges purchase our robot cells and customise them and have them in their facilities and using them on a regular basis. So basically uptake on our products. And then we're standing in front here of you know, a, a cobot and an industrial robot. These are perfect for the messages you're trying to portray. That's right, Paul. So we are very, very lucky to work with our European team in developing European offerings for our education um, solutions, if you like. So we're, we're stood here next to an industrial robot that can, um, is, is supported um, across Europe, has a whole bunch of content that's delivered with it for the trainers to deliver to their students. And also, as, you, as, as you'll probably know, more and more often you see cobots, collaborative robots in the, in the field, in industry, being used. Uh, and that's actually our latest offering, is actually a cobot solution for education. So along with obviously understanding the, the programming, 
the, um, the way in which obviously cobots can be used in industry, we also deliver their safety courses and making sure that actually the, the, the cobots are delivered and adopted in the right way in the safe environment that they can actually uh, work within. So are we saying that what we see here is what you will see in some of these educational facilities and, and in your partnerships of, of, around Europe? Absolutely, Paul. Yeah, that's right. So the idea is that actually um, you can learn as, as, as much as you need to learn on one of these courses, whether that's a kind of A-level or, or a bachelor's degree type course or master's degree type course, to get to a point where you can be adopted within your future employer and deliver automation. That's the important thing. How important is it to you and to FANUC to be doing this? I'm extremely, extremely passionate about obviously education. I want to see that um, we can follow um, the strategy that say our US um, cousins took um, 20 years ago uh, and they now benefit from having huge market share in the robotics field. Um, I can see that FANUC UK can do the same thing by being that leader within uh, and, and that glue, if you like, between academia and industry.